Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to New York Images and Voices. I'm your host, Jim Carter, and we've got a great show for you today. <laughs> now, I know you usually expect us to be right in the heart of Manhattan. We're out of the box tonight. We're over in Linden, New Jersey at a real hip place called Robin's Nest. And in a moment, you'll find out why it's called Robin's Nest, but it's going to be someplace you'll want to be if you want to be in the end. But before we get into the details, I want to introduce you to the inspiration, the lady of the hour, and also it's her birthday, so we're real happy about this, Robin Bacotti. Robin, Hi. how are you today? I'm fine. How are you, Jim? Good, good. It's good. so great being out here. Same it's, here. You know, you come out of Manhattan, and it's a different world, but when we get into Robin's Nest, we find out music kind of brings it all together. Exactly. It? And we're going to so talk intense. a little bit about the music, but before we get too far, we want to introduce our other guests. Eric Knox. Eric, how are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. And Eric is general manager of Robin's Nest, and Robin is the inspiration, and I guess, Eric, you're the perspiration, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, yeah. okay, well somebody's got to do the work. You know? <laughs> got to do the work. I, now, that I'm wasn't glad. a front. That's a credit to the <laughs> good you. hard work that you do and the Absolutely. inspiration that you bring to Robin. Uh, Robin, I know you're from the Bronx. Right, so I am. And we've been, we're in a juke joint, right? Yes, we are. So how did we get from the Bronx to the juke joint? Oh, uh, well, you know, I have family members that own different places in New York and stuff like that. And it was always my dream to follow them. I was the youngest out of nine. And uh, I decided that when I retired, I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Wait, hold Re Retired? You I look like you just started out. What's, what's this? What do you mean? I retired, retired, I retired from, from Verizon. Okay. And uh, from then on, I retired to something. I retired to something gotcha. I love, which was music. Mm -hmm. And we decided to do the whole blues situation because there was no blues around. Mm -hmm. And at that particular point, uh, it was like, you know, I was getting to a certain age that I was sick of hanging out with young people and too young to hang out with old people. <laughs> so we, we got this little medium in between and uh, it, it work, it's working great. And, that's, and we have music, blues, five nights a week, and then on jazz on Sundays. And that's what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, and I was it. here a couple of weeks ago and I think it was a Wednesday night. Yes. I couldn't rest until Sunday because yes. the music <laughs> on a Wednesday night, I mean, it was playing hard, the guitars, right. the drums, the bass, the place was jumping. So if you want to come out and really get into some good music, but it's not just about the music. We got some good food going on Right, here. we have our blues jams mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Uh -huh. It's a blues jam. All the different artists come from all over the place, all the, uh, you know, local and uh, international national acts come from all over the place on Wednesdays and they come help support us and we have a big time blues party. Well, why don't you talk about how you book each night? How do the nights run together? Well, now? Eric can help oh, with that. Okay. Well, Eric, Eric does a lot of the booking, it? yeah. Okay, so Eric, what's the structure of what music is here what night? Well, we, we try to primarily present blues music. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tuesday nights we've introduced something new. We have a, a funk and R&B jam that's on every other Tuesday that's hosted by Pete Cummings from Michael Hill's Blues mm -hmm. Mob. Uh, Wednesday night we have an open blues jam that, uh, well, I call it the all-star blues jam because we've had guys like Rusty Paul here, we've had Greg Piccolo here, we've had you know, big names come in, and, and, and it's my favorite night of the week because I like to say you never know who's going to walk through that door, mm -hmm. and you never know who's going to Well, every night is my favorite night of the week. <laughs> <laughs> and, and on Thursday nights, we, we've started to feature solo and duo acoustic roots blues act, mm -hmm. uh, uh, delta blues, and we've also got got some some different things going on with bands like uh, Rob Paparozzi who is the uh, front man lead singer from Blood Sweat and Tears uh, Bernard no, Purdy will come in mm -hmm. here occasionally he's a good friend of ours from Steely Dan yep. Aretha Franklin and well he's in the world Guinness Book of World Records as the most recorded drummer in the history of recorded music uh, Friday and Saturday we try to feature national, semi-national, and international original blues acts, mm -hmm. headliners. And and as you see, we're, we're a small place. We provide an intimate setting. We try to provide a family atmosphere when you walk in the we door. We have a family atmosphere. When exactly. you walk in the door, you're part of the family. We, we, don't, we don't refer to our, our, our 
customers as clients or customers are all fam. Mm -hmm. We want to make everybody feel welcome. We're here all the time and we want everybody to have a good time and, and to get up close to the artist and the artists love it because that's what people like most of all that they're able to get up close to the artists mm -hmm. and they can talk to them and find out what type of blues music they play because there's so much variations of the blues and that's one of the uh, things that we wanted to also introduce to people because people always think of the moaning groaning you know down home Mississippi mm -hmm. but you got jump jive you know you got all kinds of different types of uh, blues and that's what we're trying to introduce as well as long with the kids too, because mm -hmm. we have uh, young kids coming in here also playing the blues. And you know, I see you got a multicultural crowd. Yes, you know, it's oh, not absolutely. just and it's not just for old folks now. No, there are a lot no, of young no. people coming in here. A lot of young cats want to come yeah. in and learn how to really connect with some of the really more experienced exactly. players. And you know, Eric, you said small, but I kind of call it cozy. I can You know, it's like the old days. I hate to say old days, ladies, <laughs> but when you go someplace. And you could feel the room. It wasn't so massive that, you know, you were disconnected from the audience. And, Robin, I know you're here all the time, Eric. Yeah. I know you're here all the time. So, when do you perform? I perform periodically. Periodically. <laughs> yeah, every you, every peri chance. <laughs> every chance. <laughs> no, okay. periodically, actually. Uh -huh. and, and getting back to the coziness, um, I actually have people in here. I, uh, I also serve lunch, mm -hmm. all right, and the blue collar workers around the area have really supported me too as well, mm -hmm. you know, and they come in and they have their lunch and they order and we have a good time too during the day. And some of them even say, you know, thank you, you know, because I say, oh, thank you for coming, blah, blah, blah. They say, no, thank you for having me, as if they've been in my home. Mm -hmm. And that's the way I like to treat people, you know, and that's the way we like to uh, roll well, kind of, well, kind of Truth be told, this mm -hmm. is our home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess you put in the hours, yeah. <laughs> What kind of menus do you have that are very Oh, good? we serve like peas and rice, macaroni and cheese, hot wings. I do specials. Sometimes I'll go on the Italian thing and do some ziti, mm -hmm. that type of stuff. And uh, I just think of stuff in the morning, actually, and wake up and do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're over at Robin's Nest in Linden, New Jersey. That's exit, what, 13 off 13. the turn? 13 off the turn. You are here so fast, you don't even realize you left New York. <laughs> and it's a good way to come out because after you have the experience here, you almost need to regroup before you get back into Manhattan <laughs> just from the energy and the excitement. Well, we have people coming from all over mm -hmm. the place. Woodstock, New York, mm -hmm. Staten Island is a big thing, uh, South Jersey, because we were the only blues club in New Jersey mm -hmm. until uh, another club opened up, and then uh, I don't know exactly what they do, but I know we do uh, five nights a week. Now, you told me that you're recognized as a juke joint mm -hmm. in What's the we, words? We were, re we were recently recognized mm -hmm. as a juke joint of the present by the Delta Blues Museum.